Hi, my name is Jackie Whitaker, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Physical Therapy in the Faculty of Medicine at the University of British Columbia and a research scientist at Arthritis Research Canada. We were thrilled to learn that our international consensus called Optini has been selected as part of Arthritis Society Canada's top 10 research advances of 2022. You know, we've known for a long time that traumatic knee injuries are not only common, but they're a potent risk factor for osteoarthritis. That said, decades of research point to a, a unique window of opportunity after injury where we could intervene to do something about that. But despite knowing that the prevention of post-traumatic knee osteoarthritis hasn't really gained a lot of momentum over the years, and this has fueled an unmet need and left people at risk of knee osteoarthritis wondering what they should be doing. The Optini group, which consists of over 40 clinician scientists, researchers, clinicians, and patient partners representing nine countries from around the world, decided to do something about this. And over the last three years, we have systematically summarized all there is to know about seven topics related to preventing osteoarthritis after a knee injury, including who to target, when and how to intervene, and what to monitor. And these reviews directly informed a consensus process and a consensus statement, which culminated in actionable clinical and research recommendations. The clinical recommendations guide evidence-based practice and decision-making for the care of patients with a knee injury with osteoarthritis prevention front of mind. Things like the importance of sharing knowledge about osteoarthritis risk and what to do about it, upskilling people so they can self-manage their knee, eliminate thigh muscle weakness, keep fat levels within a healthy range, and meet weekly physical activity guidelines. The research recommendations lay the foundation for people working in the field to be more strategic, to collaborate, and to combine our resources. I've had the great pleasure of leading the Optini consensus with Dr. Ava Roos from the University of Southern Denmark and Drs. Adam Colvener and Kay Crosley from La Trobe University in Australia. As you can imagine, this took an incredible amount of effort, a massive team effort, and I would not have been able to take this on without the support of the Arthritis Society, their Canadian donors and supporters who make research like this possible. On behalf of the whole Optini team, and in particular myself, Dr. Christina Lee and Justin Lachelle, both of whom are recipients of Arthritis Society PhD awards and Optini team members, I'd like to extend a personal thank you and reaffirm our commitment to pushing the field of osteoarthritis prevention forward.